G'day, how are you going? My name is Tech and welcome to Bootlosophy. I acknowledge the Wajuk people who are the traditional custodians of the lands that I live and work on. For those of you who know me, you know that Bootlosophy is a boot review channel. But I got this great jacket that I haven't taken off since I got it, so I thought I'd talk about it this week. This is Flint and Tinder's fleece-lined waxed trucker jacket. A couple of things first up. Firstly, Flint and Tinder is online men's gear retailer Huckbury's house brand. Uh, so you can buy this from the Huckbury website basically, which I'll put a link to below. Second, Huckbury sent me this jacket to review, but I've made no commitment to say nice things about it. And like all my boot reviews, I will be very clear about what I honestly think. Third, I have to admit, a trucker jacket is not one of my favourite styles of jackets. I prefer my jackets a little longer, maybe um, upper thigh length, unless they're obviously the classic bomber style jackets. My less than enthusiastic view of trucker jackets also comes from my youth, I think, when uh, Levi's uh, denim trucker jackets were on everyone's shoulders, but I never really caught on to uh, see the logic in them. If I had a jacket, I'd like it for warmth, so something more than denim was required, so I thought. As for the denim trucker style, I mean, I don't know, I don't really feel it. So I approached this jacket with a similar uh, cautiousness. However, <laughs> I have to say that my lackadaisical attitude changed enough for me to want to try them because when I saw them in the flesh as it were, I saw that with the fleece lining and the wax canvas material, these really can be quite warming. The tan colour with the patina of the wax surface also helped to pique my interest because it's not the standard denim blue uh, fades. It's winter here now in Perth right now and I can report that I wore this all day on the first day I got it, uh, wandering outdoors in the afternoons and I found it certainly uh, warm enough as a jacket in our milder Perth days of low to mid teens in Celsius. The tan colour worked with my black jeans on the day and I dare say would work with denim jeans and any earth-based or neutral colours. As a trucker jacket, it has all the hallmarks. There's a waistband that at the back has a pair of uh, tabs and brass buttons that you can use to cinch the waist tighter. It has a row of what I guess are brass buttons a la denim jackets with a uh, really neat engraving of the name Flint and Tinder on them. The cuffs are also buttoned with the same buttons. It's short, it comes to just below belt height. Uh, in design, Huckbury uh, went with the two hand warmer pockets and a single uh, button pocket in the chest. Inside is a wallet or phone pocket, but quite a low uh, and a pocket left open. Uh, I wouldn't have minded another buttoned uh, breast pocket, but that's okay. I do think though that this inside uh, wallet slash media pocket is too low. Uh, and without a zip or a button flap, I've put my phone in it and at times I have dropped my phone out of it when I take the jacket off. It's just too loose and open mouthed and placed I think low enough uh, for things to fall out. Uh, also, uh, at that height and the, if the jacket is fully buttoned up, you kind of get into all sorts of gymnastics trying to get your, your uh, wallet out or your phone out. So far I haven't really found a practical use for it. On the inside, it's lined with a soft fleece that is the secret to making this a warm jacket. I do like that fleece, it's one of its good points. The fleece also goes all the way into the sleeves, which is another plus, because I've seen jackets with a lesser or in fact no lining in the sleeves, making your arms uh, feel cold and everything else is warm, uh, which seems bad design to me. Uh, another plus point for me is how easy the buttons are to do up. In other trucker jackets that I've tried, the metal buttons are, are tricky to do up. The buttons themselves have sharp edges and the buttonholes always seem to be a little small when you um, first buy it and it doesn't really get easy to button up until you've actually used it for a while and sort of um, loosened the denim. Most people will wear this open, I know, but hey, <laughs> it's got buttons. I want to do them up. <laughs> um, all in all, style-wise, it's changed my view of trucker jackets, but only in favour of the waxed version and in this really beautiful tan, which suits my wardrobe perfectly. I love the shape, design, cut and feel, 
and it's true I have hardly taken it off since getting it even indoors using it as a jumper when it's cool oh by the way did I say it's pretty hot right now and I don't mean temperature wise it's uh, worn by the protagonist in the series The Last of Us so maybe I should crack a few jokes about fighting off zombies but you know people might get confused about the recent Lori Vallow Daybell trial in Idaho <laughs> um, if you have no idea what I'm talking about join the club but you can always Google The Last of Us or Lori Vallow Daybell now what is it made of if it matters to you it's made in the USA and all the materials are sourced from the USA it's made in Los Angeles with waxed uh, seven ounce sailcloth canvas that comes from New Jersey. The wax canvas has a soft but buttery waxy feel. It has solidity but it's also comfortable. You don't feel like a walking unbendable wax solid candle. Uh, in fact I'd call it soft to the touch and the fleece lining means that it feels great against your skin. Look it's new but the evidence is that it will patina very nicely. The creases on my elbow will attest to that already. I can tell you that other than being warm, it is definitely windproof. We had gale force winds uh, the week I got this and going for walks, not only did I keep warm, but it definitely kept the wind out. So much so that uh, on one day when it wasn't that cold, a bit like this, and I worked in the yard with it on, I got quite damp inside because the sweat didn't dry off so easily uh, as I guess it would if it were a breathable denim. Horses for courses, I think. Do you want windproof warm or do you want breathable? The lining is a polyester stripe blanket fleece and I think this is one item that's not sourced in the US, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, overall materials quality, pretty good. In terms of construction, I think it's well made. There are uh, a few loose threads uh, here and there, uh, at the seams for example and in some of the buttonholes. But honestly, let's not be too wanky about this, it is a trucker jacket, not a tuxedo. Let's just say something about the brand. As I said earlier, Flint & Tinder is the house clothing brand of Huckbury. Huckbury is an American online men's gear website with a blinding number of all types of rugged style gear for men, from clothing to boots and other footwear, uh, from EDC to all the cool camping and other gear. I first came across them a couple of years ago when I uh, bought two pairs of boots that I reviewed early when I started this channel. You can see my review of the Rhodes Owen boot from Huckbury up here. Uh, no longer available unfortunately, but it does seem to come and go so you can check the website. The founders started the website only in 2010 after uh, envisioning a brand that combined adventure, the outdoors, uh, with good customer service, great gear selection and part store, part journal and, and being an inspiration for men to live the outdoor life. They chose the name Huckbury after Huckbury Finn, you know, Mark Twain. Uh, you should check out their website, there is a link below, because beware, <laughs> you may need to set aside several hours to check out all the goodies grouped by clothing, uh, footwear, gear, watches and gifts. If you did decide to buy one of these, uh, you can use the link below, it is an affiliate link. As I say, I have no agreement to to praise the jacket but I do honestly like it and if you're going to buy uh, and use the affiliate link I'll get six or seven percent uh, you know just a little but it helps out to defray the cost of this channel if you did decide to buy one uh, what size would you choose well I'm five foot nine and that's a hundred and seventy five hundred and seventy six centimeters slightly built uh, weigh about 75 kilograms or about 165 pounds I normally wear a medium in jackets this jacket comes in sizing for a classic fit and a tall fit and as I'm average built for my height I'm certainly not tall uh, I chose a medium size and as you can see it fits perfectly in the classic fit the website also has a pretty good find my fit section uh, at the bottom of the page the arms maybe are a tad long uh, but most of my jackets are that way and if this were dressier I'd probably get them tailored but as it's casual rough outdoorsy jacket I'm leaving it as it is uh, putting my hands in my pockets the slightly longer sleeves cover bare flesh in the cold and wet also as I said earlier it's comfortable it's comfortable because of the soft fleece lining and also because of the softness of the wax canvas and also uh, because it's not a stiff wax finish but it's also comfortable because of the cut 
there's enough room in my shoulders to stretch and reach out when I'm driving or working. The waistband is loose but cinched up, not too loose and baggy. There's good room in the sleeves and uh, enough to fit a jumper or even a, a sleeveless puffer gillet. I feel that I move and sit and lie down on my couch without really feeling any tightness uh, to, the, to the jacket. Part of the reason I've not taken it off, uh, choosing the jacket, this one is a colour called Field Tan and I love it, but there are eight other colours if you don't like this. As I said, it comes in classic cut or tall cut uh, and sizes go from extra small to 3XL. Uh, but depending on the colour, some sizes may not be available from time to time. Uh, plenty of choice otherwise. Now, value. This is listed at the uh, Huckberry we website at 298 US. I'm not a total expert in wax trucker jackets but I do my research just like uh, this was a pair of boots and I can't find a great quality wax jacket fit a lot less than that. In fact most that I've found have been over the 300 US mark. Filson's for example sell for 350 US dollars and one from Freenote Cloth is about 400. Um, the British Barber Company make one called the Bedell, uh, longer, down to the thigh, and that sells for about £300 sterling. So, pretty good value. How will it wear? Honestly, I don't know yet, but it feels like it will wear well. I'll let you know later, maybe. Do another long-term review in a year or uh, maybe after a couple of winter seasons. There you go, that's my review of a non-boot. <laughs> let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see more reviews of, you know, gear. Uh, I'll never stop reviewing and discussing and comparing boots, of course, but you have to wear something with the boots, right? And you have to carry things in a bag uh, when you wear boots, so gear is kind of related, I guess. Let me know. Anyway, I hope this review has been useful for you and, you know, maybe entertaining. <laughs> if you found it so, you know what to do. Please click on like and subscribe down there uh, uh, before you click on the link and then go and check out Huckberry. Happy zombie fighting and survive to come back here for my next video. Until then, take care and I'll see you soon.